I intend to address Simon's claims about doctors more thoroughly tomorrow. Now, had Simon approached that in a measured manner and noted that, yes, standards may have slipped in certain departments due to the departure of European doctors and nurses, not surprisingly after Brexit, or that the system is overburdened, it would be one thing. However, Simon threw it out there as though, you know, there's a plethora of foreign doctors of whom most of them, doc doctors and nurses, are useless. And it's very generalised and very sort of anecdotal and very man-in-pub way. There was no attempt at measured conversation or discussion at all. Now, I'm going to show you what I've done to pr just as a counterpoint in a moment. Let me share a screen or two. Let me first get rid of that lot and get rid of that lot. Now, I pulled up the names of all the doctors who didn't sound Asian. I had a good reason for this, because Simon, when he got to the end of his video, started reading them all out, and I noticed he only read out names of people who sounded like they came from the subcontinent, and then started going on, what's wrong with this picture? Here's the names of people who don't sound like that. Now, I can't guarantee they're all white, because, of course, there are plenty of black people in the West Indies with names that sound very white due to the convoluted history of the area and the intersections of race and privilege there. However, it's a good guarantee that a good percentage of them are. There's also some on there that have names from Eastern Europe where I recognise they're quite common names in places like Lithuania. Here we have Dr. Jonathan Hagen, Dr. Nicola Jane Lewis, Lewis Dr. Thomas James Wardle, Dr. Helen Christine Butterfield, Dr. Benjamin Gareth Jones, Dr. Robert Mar Martin Bracewell, Dr. Joseph Anderson, Dr. Paul Jared Byrne, Dr. Zoe Ann Thompson, Dr. Jer Joseph Armstrong, Dr. Rohan Philip Jacob, Dr. Make Michael Damien Gurgis. That one may be Polish, East Earth, Estonian, Latvian, I'm not quite sure. Dr. Stefan Karls Gwelsch, but it's certainly not in the case of Mr. Gurgis going to be from the subcontinent, I would guess. Dr. Anthony Campbell Allen. Dr. Neil Dithy McCann, and that's definitely Irish with that name. Dr. Marriott Grant, Dr. Mary Jean Corley, Dr. Scott James Armour, Dr. Bradley Medlock, Dr. Alison Doherty, Dorothy Margaret Hales, Dr. Samuel Eric Whitaker, Dr. Adam Luke Brown, Dr. Lorna Jane Murray, Dr. Simon Gareth Stacey, Dr. Lauren Flynn. I, that must be, you know, Ireland by way of Lithuania, the bit of Kerry that flowed down there, that, you know that bit. Oh, you never heard about that? Oh, oh dear. Dr. Adam Bowden, Dr. Francis Patrick Casey, another Estonian uh, Kerry man, Dr. Andrew James Doherty, Dr. Mark Foxley Russell Hall, Dr. Demetrius Agrio, and Dr. Alexander Uskalnos. That last name is Lithuanian. I've actually worked with someone with the same name. It's a common name in, in the Baltic countries. Now, Simon. If you go through the list of other people who do have Asian names, you get a roughly equal split. There's about four or five more people on the other one. Now, it's absolutely impossible to say for sure the ethnic background of all of these, and I'm sure it's probably more complicated in reality, yet again, with people having family members who come from different places in their marriage and so on. But the presentation that, that you know, it's... You presented it in a way that suggests, and none too subtly, may I add, that the majority of foreign doctors are just rubbish. It's really quite appalling. It's it's quite it would be quite offensive if you were a foreign doctor and I was reading it. Uh, instead of trying to discuss it in measured ways, in a, or with any qualified eyes or any discretion we've gone straight for the the juggler and straight for the sort of cheapest bmp rhetoric possible i'll be returning to this tomorrow because i'm expecting my wife home in a minute and i have other things to do but i find it annoying let's just say that <laughs>